Uh, this is the first part of telecom billing, which we are going to uh, see first. So in this first part of telecom billing, we actually going to see what is mean by telecom and how its project actually flows. So uh, uh, the basic thing is that the telecom is nothing but it is having a combination of different services like sending a voice data from one point to another point by using some electronic media. Uh, so uh, it is known as a or it is termed as a telecommunication. In short, it is known as a telecom. So the medium to transfer this kind of data, it includes the various signals or various medias to transfer this kind of data like a fiber optics or wire radio towers satellite etc so the generally the telecom billing part is associated with the postpaid type of billing generally this kind of flow is associated with the postpaid so now the next uh, is what are the different types of telecom billing services so the different types of telecom billing services are or we get a bill for the different services which are associated with the telecoms are like a uh, voice calls mms sms voip that is voice over internet protocol video conferencing and internet connection so these are the nothing but different telecom services which are provided by the telecom operator and we as a customer we pay the bills for this kind of services in short word telecom billing services is nothing but what different services which are provided by the telecom operator and billing means what as a customer if we are using this kind of services then we have to pay the bills for these all services right so uh, nowadays there are different telephone operators which provides uh, services like uh, uh, vodafone idea airtel geo bsnl and many more right so now the main part is basic flow for telecom billing in this video we are going to learn about the basic flow so how this particular flow this particular flow is having the total four part that is customer crm oss and bss here these are the three main points that is crm oss and bss customer is a who who is using these all services so the main important part is a customer this is crm right crm is nothing but the here actually the customer is created who is going to use the different services then oss is the part which is mainly associated with the customer activation and bss here the customer billing is done okay so main part you need to focus is crm crm means what here in this particular part customer relationship management in market there are too many CRMs are available right so by using this CRM application customers are created customers are created means what here the information related to customer means name of customer address of customer its current address permanent address or if it is customer is associated with any organization then employee ID in short all the basic information of customer is stored in a CRM right so the main role or functionality of this particular CRM is to create the customer and customer ID and store the customer details and the data right so after this particular block the CRM the main part comes that is OSS so OSS is nothing but operation support system so what happens in this particular block the order from the customer is accepted right and the processing and implementation is done as we have already discussed the main part of or the main role of oss is a customer activation what happens in crm the customer is created its id is created its details are stored and what kind of 
service they want for example they want a voice uh, voice calls voice call service so whatever the request come from this particular crm that is from customer through this crm this oss will activate that particular service then the third block is bss bss is nothing but a billing support system so what happens in this particular billing support system according to the service which is required to a customer which they have entered means which is we got through a crm which service is activated through a oss so the service which is used by the customer the bill is generated through this bss so according the according to the service which is activated for particular customer what the usage they have used for this particular services according to a rate card or charge sheet particular bill is generated is nothing but the bss that is business support system so this is nothing but the basic flow of telecom billing in next video we are going to learn the technical flow in very detail for this particular telecom billing part okay thank you